at two o'clock we got Akron who went two and ten last year Tremont the Temple who went three and nine really great football teams uh, Temple favored by ten and a half points on ESPN plus DJ Irons for Akron by the way phenomenal name for a quarterback uh, had Went 253 to 379, threw for 2,605 yards, 10 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Cam Wiley on the ground had 106 carries for 486 yards and 5 touchdowns. And Shockey, Shockey Louis had 74 catches for 931 yards and 2 touchdowns. And saying that he got 931 yards and that only resulted in 2 touchdowns, almost had a 1,000 yard receiving year and just ended up getting 2 touchdowns out of that. But still, uh, he's a really good receiver. Uh, E.J. Warner for Temple went 268 to 443. For, threw for 3,028 yards, 18 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Edward Sadie on the ground had 149 carries for 639 yards and 6 touchdowns. And Jose Barbin had 72 catches for 918 yards and 2 touchdowns. Temple leads the series all-time 15-7. to seven. last six games have gone to Temple from 2007 to 2021. Zero. Zero one-possession games, which is crazy to think about. Um, this is just a this is a good uh, this is a good game. It should be close. It's not a game between two phenomenal football teams, but it is a solid football game between two teams that aren't going to be competing for a lot this year. So this win should mean a lot to both football teams. Akron went two and ten last year, but it wasn't for lack of trying. I mean, Joe Moorhead did actually do some good things the first year. DJ Irons did so sh show some promise. And Temple's stuck in a rough conference in the American that a lot of people are going to be talking about because it is a wide-open conference and there are a lot of good teams in it. Temple's not one of those teams. The MAC is pretty much... It is a three- or four-team league, right? Toledo should be competing for it. Eastern Michigan and Ohio should all be contenders. They should all be teams that you're looking at and you're like, those are going to be teams that have a chance of competing for a MAC title. You can't really do that in the American, right? There's Tulane and then a whole bunch of people in the middle and then Temple down here, maybe Navy down here too. They have some bad teams, but there's also some pretty good mediocre teams, and it's in that meat that uh, you're going to find some really solid teams uh, for the American. I think this this game could be really interesting. It could matter a lot for either of these teams getting to bowl eligibility or even getting past four wins this year. Um, again, Temple has dominated the series recently. Six last games have gone to Temple. I like the Owls here. I like them to win. I like them to win by a lot. Give me the Owls to win and cover this game.